is a Project 100 mile an hour RC10 uh, part one. Uh, I'm starting uh, this project with my RC10 uh, radio control car to see if it can go 100 miles an hour. It's kind of a ridiculous goal and everybody thinks I'm crazy because two-wheel drive off-road cars aren't really made to go that fast. Uh, lots of problems come into play, but that's why it's fun to do because it's an engineering project. So, uh, so this is what I got so far. Uh, I have the RC10 B4 team car here, uh, carbon chassis and everything. Um, and I've I've been looking for some tires for it, uh, speed control. Uh, trying to decide what motor to get. I think I've settled on the speed control, uh, Mamba Max Pro. Uh, there isn't another one I can think of that'll give me the, the the most flexibility with batteries and stuff. This thing can handle 25 volts, so it'll handle anything I can put in in the car. Uh, I'd like to stick with a 10th scale motor in the car instead of going to an 8th scale. Um, just because I, I actually want to be able to drive the car on an off-road track when I'm done with it and I'd like to have something that'll that'll do that. Plus 8th scale, 8th scale be a big load on the transmission, on the stealth transmission in there. So I'm not sure about that one. So gonna try to stick with 10th scale. I haven't decided what KV rating or what motor to go with yet. Um, I'm, I'm thinking 3-cell LiPo is probably what I'm going to power it with. <clears throat> I went with uh, Dirt Hogs in the rear. I'm, I'm looking for a tire that can stay on, on road and and uh, give me decent performance there, so I need some more contact patch. These ones seem to have some of the best of all the tires that fit, uh, fit the buggies. Uh, without going to foams just yet, I may have to do that. Uh, only thing I don't like about them is uh well okay when I turn this the tire wheel wobbles a little bit I'm gonna have to balance those I think because at 100 miles an hour these things will be turning something like 9800 rpm the tires so that could be a problem now the fronts are quite a bit worse I mean they're not uh they're not true at all, so I'm probably not going to use these for that, but these would make a good dirt track tire. I'm probably going to stick with either the straight ribbed ones that they come with, um, that, that RC10s come with, or something else I have to decide. Plus these uh, bearings have rubber seals and the tires don't uh, don't keep going, so I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to replace those with some ceramic bearings or something else, uh, probably front and back. Um, I have the RPM uh, bumper, and I, because it's pointing upward, it uh, it was going to give me lift, which I got to really pay attention to aerodynamics on this car. Uh, so I have a, um, uh, so anyway, yeah, on the bumper I put it in the oven, and I cooked it at about 400 degrees, and I pulled it out, and then I could bend it, and I put it in the freezer to harden it. So so now it's nice and nice and flat. Uh, nice and level so I don't get any lift at least I got this is actually a front wing uh, I'm probably going to mount something else to the bumper as well but this is the uh, J Concepts wing air goes in here and then blows blows straight out the top I guess uh, so I have that because sticking the front end to the ground is the problem when you have massive horsepower all the videos I see the front end pulls up and then the thing smashes into a million pieces and then they get rid of it because it costs so much money to fix. Um, so I'm going to try to avoid that. Uh, plus I may have some lead weights up on the bumper as well as some additional wings for downforce. Because these A-arms are angled uh, angled enough that it's actually going to give me some lift too. Uh, I also think the tread on these tires, when, when they're rotating this fast into the wind, that's actually going to create some lift too. So I think the rib tires will work better up front. Um, yeah, got a uh, another J Concepts body here. Um, 
I haven't painted it yet. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to paint it, but I think I'm going to paint it orange, uh, bright orange, for two reasons. One, uh, because Nick Case's car, the fastest RC car on the planet, is bright orange. But two, probably the same reason he painted it orange, uh, you can see it a long ways off. So it won't get out of... Uh, yeah, out of uh, visibility range, uh, going as fast as it will be, it's uh, it could be a problem. So, okay, so I have this uh, program I created on my computer that'll do all the math for me. I have to estimate things like drag and wind resistance, um, but I think I can get pretty close here. I have a way I can put in my motor KV rating, voltage, transmission ratio, tire circumference spur gear and desired top speed taking into account frictional losses and drag um, and it will actually calculate for me what size pinion I need or I can go down here put in what size pinion spur I have frictional losses uh, KV rating all that stuff and it'll tell me how fast my car will go so I can uh, oops. I can like here, I can just change my voltage if I'm doing a three cell lipo and change like my pinion's got to get bigger than that let's say and let's say I'm doing an 81 tooth frictional losses are going to be higher than that probably 15% tire growth at speed 5% just to be conservative they're probably going to grow more than that uh, actually let's say 10% so you can see what I have here it should give me a top speed like what I just put in there of 94 miles an hour. That's if I could drive the car at that. That's going to be the major problem is steering it. But stay tuned and I'll uh, give you some more updates on my progress. Uh, any suggestions, uh, feel free to uh, leave me some comments in the section below.